activation function is pretty much important for artificial neural network so hello there i am shan and you are watching tech for tree so in this video we are going to talk about activation function so let's get started before explaining what is activation function let me just explain what is artificial neural network pre activation function and then activation functions then what is threshold value why do we need activation functions and the types of activation functions so let's start with artificial neural network so what is artificial neural network well i have already made one video about artificial neural network if you want to learn more about artificial neural network please go and check that video there is a link in the description box below but for this video i am explaining a little bit in artificial neural network it typically consists three layers input layers hidden layer and output layer input layer takes the input hidden layer processes that input and output layer produce the output so basically they are, they are uh, these are the nodes and i am each and every processing is being done in the hidden layer so let's see this node more closely i am representing this single node here so the node has two parts pre activation function and activation function so what is pre activation function basically it is taking the summation of all the input as net input and it passes that input to the function and that function is called activation function see it is taking all the inputs and it calculates the summation of all the inputs as net input and then it passes the net input to the uh, function and that function is called actually activation functions so what is net activation functions the activation function is applied over the net in input and the activation function is like a mathematical gate in between the input and the output now let's take an example if i give you a problem and ask you to solve it and tell me the answer if and only if your answer is greater than 5 so basically we are adding some criteria to the submission of the answer if it meets that criteria then only produce the output and this is the concept of the threshold value so what is threshold value threshold is a set of values based on that the final output of the network will be calculated a comparison is made between the calculated net input and the threshold value to obtain the final output like this now let's take the previous example if our answer is greater than or equal to 5 then only we will produce that output so here x is answer okay so if the answer is greater than and the theta is the fixed threshold value in that example we have 5 so if answer is greater than 5 then only produce output otherwise not so like true false 10 like this now let's see why do we need activation functions we use activation function to achieve non linearity non linear function are used to achieve the advantages of multi layer neural network when an input passes through the multi layer neural network with a linear activation function the output remains the same as that it could be obtained using a single layer network if we do not apply activation function then it will be simple linear regression model and we do not want that there are some types but basically there are two types linear activation function and non linear activation function the first one identity function is the linear activation function and the rest of them are non linear so let's start with identity function so what is identity function basically the output remains the same as the input and it is a linear activation function fx equal to x for all x the so next we have binary step function by the name binary we can know that uh, it is contains 1 and 0 right so if the x is greater than theta theta again theta is the fixed threshold value if x is greater than theta it will produce 1 otherwise it will produce 0 the activation function converts input to binary output like 1 and 0 and the next we have bipolar so bipolar step function is basically the range is minus 1 to 1 if x is greater than theta again theta is the fixed threshold value it will produce 1 otherwise it will produce minus 1 this activation function converts input to bipolar output so in binary it, it was 
1 and 0 and in bipolar it is 1 and minus 1. So next we have sigmoidal function. Well, it is very much important. Sigmoidal functions are widely used in backpropagation. There are basically two types, binary sigmoidal function and bipolar sigmoidal functions. Let's see them. So what is binary sigmoidal functions? Well, here the range is 0 to 1 and the, uh, the binary sigmoidal function is look like this fx is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus lambda x so what is lambda lambda is basically the stiffness parameter and in binary and in bipolar sigmoidal function the range will be minus 1 to 1 and the bipolar sigmoidal function is look like this 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x by 1 plus e to the power minus lambda x again lambda is the stiffness parameter so next we have hyperbolic tangent activation function or 10h see 10h is closely related to bipolar sigmoidal functions it is look like this e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x now divide each term with e to the power x so it will be 1 minus e to the power minus 2x by 1 plus e to the power minus 2x it is the same as bipolar right okay so the next we have relu basically it is the rectified linear unit activation function relu is the most commonly used activation function in neural networks especially in cnns basically if x is greater than or equal to 0 it will produce x or it will produce if x is less than 0 then it will be 0 so that's it for activation functions i hope you liked it thanks for listening thanks for watching if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll definitely try to answer your questions. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and comment down if you have any questions or suggestions. So thanks for watching again. Do not forget to subscribe this channel. See you in the next video.